Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Flying Fids. This video is for anyone that is thinking of getting a bird for the first time. Parrots are complex creatures and not everyone is fit to own a bird, so I thought I'd share what I think are six types of people that should never get a bird. So the first type of person that should never get a bird is anyone that hasn't done the proper research. There's so many videos on social media of parrots doing really amazing things like talking, doing tricks, or even showing unique personality traits that might lead someone to impulse buy a bird because who doesn't want a pet that can talk or dance? Just like with any pet, you really need to research what it takes to own a parrot very thoroughly before even considering getting a bird. So that means spending lots of time watching videos of people with birds, <laughs> like me. <laughs> reading lots of articles about parrots and the specific species that you're interested in, and even joining Facebook groups or parrot forums so you can really learn more about the effort that goes into owning a parrot from knowledgeable parrot owners. Information is so abundant nowadays, and if you're not willing to put in the simplest effort to research before getting a bird, then you won't know what you're getting yourself into, and trust me, it is a lot. Thorough research beforehand can help you decide if you're fit to own a bird, and it can save a parrot the trouble of possibly getting rehomed numerous times before or if they even find the right home and causing a lot of hardship not only for yourself but the bird. When people haven't done their due diligence in researching before bringing a bird home, it increases the risk of parrots being mistreated or being passed from home to home which can be really traumatizing. If you haven't researched or don't plan on researching about parrots then please please don't get one. If you did impulse buy a bird then it's never too late to learn as much as you can so so you know what you're doing to care for your bird or find someone that can. The second type of person who should never get a parrot is anyone that is not ready for commitment and doesn't have the time. Parrots can live for quite a long time, anywhere from 15 to 70 or more years depending on the species of bird. You have to be dependable and willing to provide quality care for a complicated animal for majority or in some cases for the rest of your life and even after you're gone because some birds can outlive their caretakers. You also have to anticipate all the life changes that you'll go through like going away for college, having children, moving or getting a new job that has long hours, and still be committed to keeping your bird in your life by revolving your life changes around your bird. You can go to a nearby college, socialize your birds with your children, move to a place that allows pets, or get a job that is flexible. Parrots also need socialization which will require lots of time and if they aren't able to socialize and they're left in the cage all day. Birds could develop behavioral problems like excessive squawking, aggressiveness, and self-mutilation through feather plucking. The ideal person that should get a bird is someone who is able to spend most of their time with the bird. So anyone that works from home or doesn't have much of a social life like me. If you travel for work often or for leisure or plan to in the future, because obviously we're in a pandemic, then a parrot may not be the right pet for you. So the third type of person that should never get a bird is anyone that doesn't have the funds. Parrots are expensive animals to keep because you need to have money for not just the initial one-time costs like getting the bird and the cage and whatnot. You also need to have the funds for recurring purchases or things that you'll have to buy regularly, which will all add up and will always be more expensive than the initial one-time cost costs in the long run. This includes money for different types of toys that will need to get replaced as they get destroyed or when your bird loses interest. Fresh food like chop and some fruits, pellets, treats like millets, seeds or nuts, and vet care. If you want your bird to live the healthiest life, you also need to take your bird to an avian vet for yearly checkups as a health precaution and also have money set aside for emergencies. Also, the bigger the bird, the more expensive things tend to be and even though expenses for smaller parrots aren't as bad compared compared to their larger counterparts, you'll still need the funds to provide everything your bird needs to keep them happy and healthy. Some birds can even destroy your furniture or belongings, so you'll also need money to replace valuables when they get destroyed. If you don't have the money now, then you can wait to get a bird in the future when you're able to make more money or have a stable income. The fourth type of person that should never get a bird is anyone that wants an easy pet because parrots are far from easy. They are one of the most difficult pets to 
there for. They can be really needy. They crap and throw their food everywhere. They bite and they destroy things, as I mentioned before. You also need to make adjustments in your home and lifestyle if you want to provide a safe environment for a bird. This means you can't smoke or vape around your bird. You can't use non-stick items like pots or pans, any chemicals that are sprayed or released into the air, like air fresheners or candles and even perfumes. And you can't turn ceiling fans on because all of these things can kill birds. Birds also don't shut up when you want them to, so that leads me to the fifth type of person that should never get a bird is anyone that is really sensitive to noise. Parrots chirp and squawk as a way of communicating and they pretty much vocalize multiple times throughout the day which is natural and that can't be trained to get rid of. Some parrots may chirp frequently and it may not be loud and other parrots chirp occasionally and it might be the loudest soul crushing thing that you've ever heard. Everyone's tolerance to noise is different and and if even the slightest bit of noise gets on your nerves, if you really cherish your peace and quiet, or if anyone you live with hates noise, then you shouldn't get a bird. The sixth type of person that shouldn't get a bird is anyone that lacks patience and empathy. Parrots are so complicated and you'll need to have patience and empathy to really understand your bird and how to work with them. When parrots bite or act out, you need to be able to step into their shoes and try to figure out what your bird is feeling, why they reacted the way they did and also see that their feelings are valid. Understanding why birds bite or react a certain way and being able to see things from your bird's perspective takes time and patience. It also takes patience to gain your bird's trust and form a bond with them and the time it takes to gain trust or form bonds will differ for every bird because they're all so different and they will learn at different paces and when you see videos of people with cuddly or affectionate birds or birds that can perform tricks just know that all of that took lots of time time and patience to gain trust and to form a bond, it doesn't happen overnight. Parrots were never meant to be pets and if you really want a bird, you have to be willing to provide the best care that you can offer. If you are any of the people that I mentioned and you still want a bird, you definitely have to work on yourself before you think about bringing a bird home. That way you and the bird can have a thriving companionship. Otherwise, look into getting a low maintenance pet like this or even get some houseplants. Like this video if you think it takes a certain person to be a parrot owner and comment down below and let me know your thoughts on other types of people that shouldn't get a bird. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.